Hi everyone, it's Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to show you how I made a dorm room for my daughters Ever After High Dolls, Ashlyn, Ella, and a Briar Beauty. And then we're gonna go ahead and do some shout outs. So let's get this started. Briar, Briar, guess what? We're getting our own dorm room. That is so royally exciting. Can't wait to throw raging parties. Um, you mean raging study parties? Those and raging slumber parties. Um, but what about my little bird friends who need a quiet sanctuary? Ashlyn, live a little! Oh, Briar. <laughs> okay, so first step is to choose wallpaper and floors for them both. So I chose this premium paper collection for Ashlyn's walls and floors. This will be her floor, this teal, and I think that top piece will be her walls and for Briar I chose this premium paper collection this has a lot of really greatly colored and designed scrapbook papers that would be perfect for her walls and floors so as I said this is Ashlyn's floor which I've attached and the wallpaper as well which is the pink flowers on the teal background which mwah, 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 mwah. I love this wallpaper. I love it. Um, okay, who are you and what have you done with my roommate, Ashlyn? Oh, Briar, you'll understand when it's your turn. So it is Briar's turn and I chose this for Briar's floor. It's a rose patterned vellum paper that I thought would go really well with her. Hmm, I guess it's I my turn to floor. ask. I who are you floor. and what have you done with Briar? For Briar's wallpaper, I chose this gorgeous piece of paper and attached it to her side of the room. So now we've basically got walls and floors on. What we don't have is something to cover up that ugly white space between the top and the bottom. And I wanted to use the same thing on both girls' sides, so I chose this piece of paper from Ashlyn's collection and I cut along the scalloped edges for the bottom and then I did the same thing for the top and it took me a really really long time forever to cut them all out meticulously to get those scalloped edges just right but now we have the floors and walls all done time for the windows here are two window frames from Mayberry Street I painted them teal for Ashlyn and raspberry for Briar and I traced around them. For Briar, I actually used her actual box and created some window pane backgrounds to look like they are really outside of their dorm rooms. And now it's time to attach them to the walls. There's Ashlyn's window and there's Briar's window. And now it's time to make their curtains. So I'm using these spindles, which are shorter curtain rods. And I'm also using finial caps. And I'm basically attaching the finial caps to the spindles on either end and hot gluing them together and then painting the whole thing. Ashlyn's, I painted this bright gold color. And for Ashlyn's curtains, I'm using fabric that I used in her old Ashlyn bed that I still like. And remember these turquoise tassels spare parts, I'll be using those too. And here I've got Ashlyn's curtains mostly done, but I'd like to add a little Ashlyn touch to the curtains. And these are bird miniatures from Mayberry Street. So I hot glued a bird to either end of her spindle curtain rod, and I'll be hot gluing that to Ashlyn's wall. And there it is, all done. Time for Briar's curtain rod. I painted it black and added two dimensional rose stickers. I'm going to be using this glittery sheer black fabric for Ashlyn's curtains. And these are silver tassels that I actually used in Darling Charming's curtains. And I'm using those to hold each side back. And I still had these fabric roses from Briar Beauty's bed, thank goodness. And I hot glued those randomly over both sides. So now it's time to hot glue Briar's curtains over her window, which I have done. I think that looks really sweet. Briar's throne coming set comes with this mirror and I basically just glued it to her side of the wall 
think that's super cute. And I noticed there's this harsh edge between Ashlyn's floor and Briar's floor. So I'd like to cover it up with a carpet. And I took this piece of burlap from Ashlyn's premium paper collection. And then this sort of lattice cut out from Briar's premium paper collection. And I'm just gonna glue one on top of the other to create a little uh, area rug that I can put between their two sides to harmonize both. And this is from Ashlyn's Glass Slipper Playset. I'm gonna use that as her nightstand. And um, I have a picture of Hunter and Ashlyn from one of the backs of these doll boxes. And I grabbed this uh, pack of rectangles from Woodpile from Hobby Lobby. And I painted the rectangle and I hot glued Hunter and Ashlyn's picture to it. So it looks like she's got a picture of them in her frame. And now we can put that on her nightstand so she can look at Hunter when she wants to. And then just putting in some furniture, her shoe set, Briar's Etagere from her Getting Ferris set, Ashlyn's Ottoman, Briar's Silver Chair. I wanted to make a little pillow for her chair, so I took these two fabric rose stickers and hot glued them to the backs of each other to create a three-dimensional rose pillow. And there is Briar's little pillow, um, not pillow, her desk. And here's Ashlyn's mirror. Um, it doesn't stand up very well on its own, so I'm going to hot glue it to the wall. And um, now we're almost done. I think Briar needs something on her side. So looked at her box, and her best friends till the end are Apple White and Blondie Locks. So I grabbed some pictures of each of them from their doll boxes, and then I'll be doing the same thing, cutting them out and hot gluing them to a rectangular um, piece of wood. Actually, I had to hot glue two of those rectangles together. So we're ready to unveil the room, but let's take a look at the before. The before is okay, it's just a little plain, nothing on the walls, but the room is nice and full. Um, there is good, some good furniture for Ashlyn and for Briar. And here's the after. I really like it. I hope you guys like it and will let me know what you think in the comments below. You don't have to like it, you can just tell me what you honestly think. My little girl was super happy and excited when she saw it. Um, Ashlyn, whatever happened to all the pastries that my mother sent me? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Briar. I kind of told my little friends that they could have at it. All right, just a little bit of fun there. Let's do some shout outs to Serena Bloom, who wanted to be shouted out in a Briar Beauty video. So this was the closest I could come. And Ivana, Mr. Minion. Thank you guys for watching my videos and I hope you enjoyed this one.